Okay, it is Big Disc Week over on Reddit, Retro Battle Stations. And I'm showing off one of mine. Here's the big paper that's uh, requested. And yes, this is an IBM 3540. Diskette I.O. unit. And yes, this is an early 70s 8-inch floppy for an IBM mainframe. System 370 era. Right there, you can even see they made a nice picture there. Anyway, someone uh, on the Reddit requested that I uh, perhaps open it up to see the inside. So that's what I'm going to do. And, uh, okay, you may be wondering, what the hell, why did they make this thing so big? Well, there's a certain amount of electronics, as because the controller is in here. The, uh, the controller for the, uh, for the channel is in here. Um, but uh, what was the point of this? Well, in the very early 70s, the floppy disk came out. The 8-inch floppy disk, the one that we all know and love. And IBM decided quite wisely that perhaps they ought to kill off the uh, punch card. So they came up with a, a data entry system. So instead of using a uh, something like a 29 that's kind of tucked in back there with armies and armies of data entry operators, they'd have, well, armies and armies of data entry operators keying in the data, but it would all go to a floppy disk. And uh, this was indeed one of the very, very earliest uses of the floppy disk. Now, these things, 3540s, were used to get that data from, you know, the rooms full of the armies of uh, data station operators, uh, get that data into the mainframe. This is what they used. Here we uh, see the little bit of a panel. Interesting. Why that button, the unload button, is melted. Yee. Anyway, we have some slots where you could uh, put some jobs in. And you stick stick the floppies in here, and yet they get sucked on right on down in there. The actual drive is down under. That's what I'm going to show you. So hopefully I can do this without, uh, without uh, breaking anything. This panel can be a little difficult to get off. Hopefully it'll come off easily. Let's see. How about that? Stick the screwdriver there. There are always 8 million ways that IBM panels come off. This is just one of them. So, pardon my shaky hand here. Here we go. Here's the innards. Not much light, but uh, <laughs> there's nothing to see. <laughs> Look at all that air in there. Well, to be fair... You could put a, a second floppy drive in that space. See, it's, it's all, there's nothing in there. This is the actual drive here. You can see it starts to actually look like an 8-inch drive. There's, of course, a little more in there for uh, the, the pick mechanism to pick out the discs. I'm just going to get the cord out of the way because I'm going to flip this around. That's the power supply there. See if I can pull this thing around so you can look at the other side. Pardon the mess. These are other interesting things. This side. Now well, you get to see more power supply, big deal. This is the gate. This is where all the electronics live. Swing that out, because boys, there's there's a fun thing on this. It's a floppy drive with blinking lights. This is the maintenance panel. This uh, basically allows you to do all sorts of fun things with the controller and test it out, take things on and offline. You can see we got LED, row of LEDs. We've got a bunch of switches to let you do things. Look at the well, tags, ALU, you know, all sorts of fun stuff. Some hex switches. 
low display, all that kind of fun stuff. I don't know if you can see uh, any more of the floppy. Not, not, not really. Sorry, the light is too, too dim. There we go. And yeah, underneath here are all the cards. It's, it's pretty standard IBM early 70s construction in there. So I, I'm not going to open it up. It's, yeah, it's a bunch of more cards with a, uh, with a little square aluminum chips. Not SLT though, I don't think. This was uh, when they uh, moved to something that was vaguely like TTL. So there you have it. There's uh, actually not much in this, although it's got a blinky light panel. So anyway, surprised the cats didn't get too involved here. Where there? I actually shot this before, and uh, boy, they they were pests. Anyway, hope you like this. Focus. And uh, I'll, I'll get this on Reddit or whatever. And uh, yeah, take a look. Why is this phone not focusing? That's that's a flaw that I that this thing seems to have with the camera. It's my, oh, you get to see my yucky hand from all the foam. Disintegrating IBM foam. Well, I don't know why this is refusing to focus. But, uh, okay, well, I shall post this, and got any questions, leave a comment. Maybe leave a like, maybe even subscribe. Okay, it's getting blurry. It's getting blurry. See you later.